I'll never forget that fateful day in 1985 when I first joined the Vice team. It was a relatively uneventful day. I was waiting for a response back after having applied, seeing as how I had experience in Vice before. And I just moved to Miami. I wanted to try something new. What I got in response though was quite unexpected. Hello? Yes, this is she. That's amazing. I mean, thank you so much for the opportunity. It, you said in a few hours. Okay. Yes, of course. Uh, is there a particular dress code that I need to adhere to or? Fancy. Okay. I, I could do that. Yes, absolutely. All right, I'll see you in a couple of hours. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Fancy. Okay. Uh, I could do fancy. I'm dressed fancy now. Well, maybe this isn't quite exactly what would be considered fancy. Uh, okay, let's figure it out. And so, as I received the great news that I had just been hired for the Vice team, I spent the better part of a half hour combing through my closet trying to figure out the best thing to wear on the first day. And since this particular vice team was dealing with a different caliber of criminals, I had to make sure that I was on their same playing field, so I brought out some of the best in my wardrobe. Though it wasn't without its challenges at the beginning, I was told to keep it fancy but nonchalant, not make it look like I was trying too hard. And while you don't have to tell me twice to not make it look like I'm trying too hard, at the same time, it wasn't an easy task. Especially for somebody who has an interest in fashion and wardrobe in general, I was a bit at a loss for the proper thing to wear to make sure that I looked like I was a part of the team. But ultimately, I ended up choosing something right in the nick of time that I feel like definitely made the right impression that I wanted to.